Hello friends! It's Christmas Day, 1994. A young Drew hurriedly rummages under the Christmas tree to see what gifts he's gonna get. He comes across a box. He can pretty much surmise it's going to be a Mega Drive game. But which one? He fervently opens it. It's PGA Tour Golf 3. Little does this eight year old Drew realise. He's going to get so much enjoyment out of this game that he's going to bring it back 26 years later for a YouTube video. Well, actually, I'm planning on doing four videos because we're going to do a tournament. We're going to play TPC Sawgrass. Welcome to the Players' Championship at TPC at Sawgrass. The total purse for this event is $2.5 million. The weather is clear, with occasional gusty winds. Prepare to start round one. So tournament format, it's a field of, I think it's 63, and it's four rounds. After two rounds, some of the field gets cut. Can't not, I honestly can't remember for the life of me how the game deals with it. I think it's top 32 stay in. I could be wrong. But hopefully we're going to make it to quote unquote the weekend, the final two rounds. I used to be quite good at this game. 61 player, sorry, not 63. I used to be quite good at this game. I've had a couple of practice rounds today, before recording. Not great, not great. Hole 1. Aim for the right centre of the fairway for the best angle of approach to the green. So we're dealing with 15, 60 mile an hour winds, which are going to push us to the right hand side of the fairway, which is good. And we're going to knock our drive, hopefully, past this bunker. Yep. And into the right hand side of the fairway. This game is honestly an absolute classic when it comes to golf sims. It was far, like, the, the entire series, like, one through three anyway, were far beyond their time. I think the first game came out in probably 1991 and to be honest it wasn't dissimilar to this in terms of graphics and gameplay. And I just think for the time the level of technical expertise on the show was great. Speaking of great, that's a good birdie to start. Hal Sutton takes the lead. Par on hole 15 to stay 6 under and move up to first place. We're going to be 1 under, which is about all we can really expect after one hole. Hole 2, 511 yards, par 5. A good drive gives you an excellent chance of getting on the green in 2 with a fairway wood or long iron. Thank you Brad Faxon. We don't have a lot of wind for this hole. So we can probably afford to aim it a little left. And we don't want to overdo the power. If you go beyond 100% on the power, it is incredibly difficult. Well, it's actually not any more difficult to hit the accuracy check at the end of the swing. But believe me, if you miss it even marginally, you're going well into the deep rough. So we're 266 yards out. We're definitely not going to go for the green here. We're, we would like to lay this up. Not far short of it. Let's hit it around 100. And, ooh, that's... Hopefully not going to have too much effect because we didn't go over the 100. We're fine, we're fine. Had we gone over 100 and nailed the accuracy check, we probably could have chased that one onto the green. As it stands... We're 20 yards short of the pin. We're in quite a good spot. 
chip shot, 9-iron. Nine nine. Well, it's two inches above the cup, that's pretty negligible. 20 yards away, and there's a lot of right to left break on this. So we'll aim it around about there. And hopefully, knock this one at least close. That's, that's not quite what I had in mind for that shot, to be fair. 15 feet, 2 inches below the cup. Again, a lot of right to left break on this one. Mm, missed the accuracy check, so that's going to go well left. It's going to be a par. Could I feel like it could have been better. Always feels like a missed opportunity when you're on a par five. Hole three, 162 yards, par three. If you go left on this hole, you can be in serious trouble. <laughs> there genuinely wasn't enough time to read that, as the hole's very short. But there's a lot of water and a myriad of bunkers around the green here, so. As you can see, Average score 3.66, that's from my practice rounds, so we've had two bogeys and a par on this one. We're gonna try and wait for the wind to be straight up and down, which it is now. And we just missed our chance on that. So, yeah, the accuracy's brought it a bit right, the wind's gonna bring it even further right. We've done well to avoid the bunkers there. We can't chip it, there's too much space until the green. Half buried in the rough so our pitch is 25 at maximum power. 8 inches above the cup so it's going to chase once it hits the green. And it's going to go a little bit right to left. Hey, left to right rather. So if we hit this just above the 50, oh, the wind really took that. That's not bad though. That should be that should be a fairly straightforward par. Yeah, not a lot of break on this. That's fine. Oh. I feel like that should have been fine. Well, that's not great. So that's undone our... Bruce Lightskid just scored a bogey on hole 8 to go 200 par and drop to 18th place. We're losing ground 2. After a very poor par putt. Speaking of Bruce Lightskin, the key to this short par 4 is accurate tee shot placement. The green is well guarded by water, front and left. Not a lot of wind here, let's just hopefully knock this one on the fairway. Hmm, light rough. Could have aimed it a lot further left there. Got 130 to the pin. We'd like this close. That should be decent. It's not going to be. It's not going to go in hole. It should be pretty close. Yeah, very close. Dean Sowers just scored an eagle on hole 16 to go six under par and move up to second place. Meanwhile, we have a five foot putt for birdie. A touch of right to left. Six inches above the cup. We, ooh, I I thought we'd missed that. Wow. Hal Sutton finishes as leader. A birdie on hole 18 to go eight under par. Meanwhile, we're struggling to get back to one under par. Longest par four in the course. The narrow dog leg right approaching the green demands a long and accurate tee shot. 
gone over 100, which is always risky, but we've nailed the accuracy, so this will be straight down the middle. Two sixty five is going to leave us almost two hundred. Might be a little short still. I I didn't like the first club. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Wow, with the backspin. That's. Genuinely one of the best shots I've ever played in this game. I mean... <laughs> oh, missed a message, but that's fine. <laughs> I, I got too excited, to be honest. How can it be 6 inches above the cup, 12 inches away? That's literally a 50% gradient. But it's a great birdie. Jim Gallagher Jr. now in contention. Just scored a birdie on hole 11 to go 4 under par and move up to 8th place. I'm happy with 2 under to be honest. My practice rounds were not going well. Hole 6, 381 yards. Concentrate on placement off the tee for a good approach shot angle to the green. Which is guarded by a maze of traps. Okay. Most of the damage is down the right, so let's just focus on getting this on the fairway. Can't really do much better than that. This little 280 yard drive leave us 101 to the, uh, to the pin. That sounds like sand wedge territory. Hit it under the 100. Decent accuracy. It's going to leave us at least on the green. It's not bad, it's not bad. Bruce Lights go eagle on hole 11. Four under par. We've got a 12 footer for three under par for ourselves. 12 inches above the cup, that all seems to be pretty much in one drop. So let's just make sure we don't over hit this one. Hmm. This was my my gripe with the game. A ball that's a foot above the cup. You should need to hit pretty soft for it to like have the right pace for the hole. There's water if you go too far left, and a tough approach shot over several hazards if you go too far right. That was squeaky bum time on the drive there. Decided to go full power, because it is quite a long hole. And the wind wasn't helpful. 170 yards to the flag. That could be quite good. The wind's taking it pretty close, I would say. Yeah. Happy with that. Lance 10 Broke takes the lead. A birdie on hole 17 to go 8 under par, move up to, well, tied first place. Not a lot of break on this one. 18 feet. Fairly level. Fingers crossed. Oh. Still, steady pars. I'm surprised we're under par. You might try a long iron if the wind is at your back. The green is deep, but it's protected by numerous bunkers. We've got a lot of wind here. Um, I wanted to hit that a little harder. 
I'm actually quite glad I didn't because that's very good. <laughs> um, yeah, very, very glad I didn't hit that harder. Six inches above the cup, eight feet away. Fair amount of right to left break on this one. That could be good. The under. So we're sitting 12th place, which is <laughs> much better than I anticipated. Craig Stadler says, "Keep your second shot on this. Uh, keep your second shot on this long double dog leg hole as far right as possible for a good approach to the small green." Mm, we did go over the hundred. I was actually wasn't aiming to go over the hundred. Uh, that oh, that could be very close to the fairway. I think we are just on the fairway, and no more. Make sure we keep this one under a hundred, <laughs> just in case. We don't need the power, so. Because you're definitely not reaching this one in two. It's 580 yards. 134 to the pin. That's quite a good length to leave. The ball lies in a depression on the fairway. Who's not cleaning their divots? That would have been quite good if we'd hit the accuracy at the end, but that's fine. We're still green in regulation. Pin high. 25 feet away. 10 inches below the cup, so we do need to hit this a little harder than we normally would. We're close to 100 here. And it could be fairly close. It's in. Drew now in contention, just scored a birdie on hole 9 to go 4 under par and move up to ninth place. I mean that's out in 32. Only one bogey. One bogey, five birdies in the front 9. That's... Surprising. The long bunker down the left side of the fairway makes this a challenging driving hole. I'm just going to have to make sure we get it in the fairway then. That should be okay. Perfectly fine. So I think what I've taught myself with my practice rounds today is you do not need to go over 100% on every drive. <laughs> it does make the game a fair amount easier if you stick to the prescribed limits, so to speak. This is close been taken away from the hole by a hill by those right? no zero inches above the cup we've got right to left break here it's another birdie it's five under Davis love the third scored an eagle on hole 16 to go one under par we're beating Davis love the third guys we're actually five under, that's... This is sim golf level scoring here. Second shot is strategic on this hole. You can either lay up short of the water, or go for the fairway near the green. I think, given... Given the fact we don't have the wind on our side, we're definitely playing for a layup. So I'm going to get this about 265, 270 ish. Two sixty, okay. And then I think we're definitely aiming this one left. The water is just too much to trifle with. Well, 
about to say, hopefully not too far left that we missed the fairway. It's pretty good. It'll leave us about 30 yards. Yep. The hole seems to be in a hole of its own. Let's just try and knock this close. I think we attacked the pin a little too much there. This is a tricky little putt coming back. Could go close, could go close. Went close, didn't go close enough. It's a par though. Which, compared to practice rounds, that would have definitely been a bogey on a practice round. Short but demanding par 4 featuring a narrow fairway and small green. Let's keep it very safe. Very safe indeed. Leave ourselves hopefully around about 60, 65 yards. 67, that'll do. A little sand wedge. Keep it close. Ooh. That, that got taken by the wind. 28 feet. We'd like to be a lot closer than that. A lot of break right to left. Six inches below, so hit it harder. Around there. I'm actually... Yeah, I was going to say, I'm, I'm not disheartened that we missed the accuracy on that one because it's probably just as well we did. Keeping it solid with the pars. Still just the one drop shot. Still five under. This hole is most difficult when pin placement is to the left requiring your shot to carry over the water. Luckily for us, it's on the right today. It's actually very lucky for us with the, well, no, the wind is changeable. I'm not sure that's going to be hard enough, unfortunately. I wanted it just 5% more. What do I know about distance in this game? <laughs> that's... That's twice now, where we've, you know, I've reckoned I've wanted it a bit harder, and actually, it's been pretty much perfect. Three feet away off the tee, a lot of right to left break considering it's only three feet away. Straight in the middle, 13 holes at six under par. And third place, we are threatening the leaderboard at this stage. Hole 14, you're better off staying right to avoid the water on this straightaway hole. Okay. Let's do so. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> Oh, I would have been better taking this from the tee again. Oh. We're in trouble, guys. Oh, and this could miss the fairway as well. This is going to swing wildly right. Damage limitation now. It's still 223 away. Yeah, I would have been much better taking that one from the tee again. There's a chance this hits the tree. No, we're okay. Oh, wind though. I 
Well, we were six under. <laughs> we were in contention. We are very quickly dropping out of contention. Thanks to... Well, horrible decision making. That's a great shot though. Yeah, I'm not surprised I'm getting an instant replay on that one. We won't watch it. So that's saved a shot. It's only a double bogey. Wow. It's only a triple bogey. <sighs> 11, 11 places lost on one hole. Right, let's get back in it. Hole 15. A slight dog leg right, guarded by a right side bumper. A good tee shot will lead a middle to short iron to the green. We are aiming to leave a five iron to the green. Aiming to leave around about 170. The wind's actually in our favour, so it may be a six iron. Hmm, might actually be a seven iron. We're in a depression. Ooh. We went over the hundred and we missed the accuracy. It's always a recipe for disaster. Have a little look at the green here. Right to uh, left to right. Right to left at the very end. Mm, that's okay, that's okay. Five feet. Saved par, that's good. So, as you can tell, the wheels have fallen off a little bit. If you try to reach this green in two, it's a tough second shot to the small green protected by water. Thank you, Fuzzy Zeller. I don't know if I feel confident enough to go for the green in two. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, that's not what we're after. Okay. Wow. Uh, this could go badly. No, we're actually okay. I hit the wrong button. Um, hit the start shot button, so I have to essentially just go with it. As it happens, it turned out nice. Turned out very nice indeed. So we are going to go for the green in two. Wind's picking up. We've hit it a little hard, I think. No. Wow. I, I really don't know what happened with that shot, to be fair. Hmm. Okay. A little touch of right to left on the green. It's going to swing left with the wind. It's not right to left, it's left to right on the green. Oh, that's flown past. 12 feet for birdie. Let's, let's really hope we get this. Not a massive amount of break. That should go. Oh. Break never materialised. I did miss on accuracy. Oh, I, I really don't like it when it does that. Usually from three feet away, you get the five foot meter. Occasionally it'll just surprise you with a ten. I caught that one just in time. It's my favourite hole in golf. Seventeenth. Seventeenth at TPC Sawgrass, the Island Green.
definitely want an 8 iron for this. We wanted it just under 100, we got it a little more than I would have liked. Yes, it's decent, it's decent. It's a tough pin placement actually. 16 feet away. We're gonna go a little left to right with the pot. And we're gonna get it at least close. We're gonna get it in. 10th place, 4 under par. The wheels were really threatening to come off after the 14th there. Hole 18th. Hole 18th, yes. The 18th hole. A spectacular dogleg left with a large lake covering the entire left hand side. One of golf's premier finishing holes. I think the 17th and 18th at Sawgrass. I think really the only course which comes close to having as good, if not better, a final two holes is St Andrews, the old course. I was quite lucky that that stayed on the fairway. It's, it's a wide fairway which helps. 182 we're in a depression. I'm gonna try and wait for the the more angled wind here. Hmm, we're getting flashes of it, but not enough. We're just gonna get it close, I think. We're gonna get it very close by the looks of it. Yeah, that's very decent. 15 feet. This is an easy green if I remember. Easy enough. Okay, for 5 under. No. Four unders a lot better than I thought we were going to do, so I'll take it. That's a 68 on a first round. It could have been so much better. We did have eight birdies. Tied tenth. Four shots off the lead, which is more than I'd like to be. More than I think we deserved. But we did really mess up the 14th. Still, we're nowhere near out of contention. That'll do it for round one. I will see you guys for round two. Bye for now.